Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys is doing absolutely great today. I want to share with you how to make this fashion business flyer design. Before jumping into this, let's check the intro. Decography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good day guys welcome back to the choreography design training and happy sunday to you all today i want us to i want to show you how you can make a, a unique fashion business flyer your Android smartphone using your PC. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button Without and the bell icon. Without wasting much time as I say, let's get started. Let's determine the background size we want to use. And as you can see, this is the background size I want to use. 1200 by 1200. So after that, we we'll go to the background. Then we choose the color for our background. I select this white color. Then the next thing to do is to import all my elements one after the other. So for instance, let me just be bringing them. So since the fashion, I download this at the pin interest. So you can actually find it out. Then after that, the next thing to do is to go to is to go to shape and you select shape like this. Then you crop it. Go to the color, then you apply this particular color, or you come here, then you turn it like this. Let it look exactly like this. Then, after that, you increase the size, you increase the size, and you crop it exactly like this, then rotate it, have it rotate. To come this way then after you rotate it just increase it like this then you have it to be positioned on the just rotate a bit then have it position under this under this place then let it rotate again a bit to minus 40 let's see 46 let's check so if we can work like this let's see 40 46 let's see 48 should be okay or 40 let's see 40 50 50 should be okay so we are going to cut that at the end of the day so let's increase the size then we have it uh move to the end then you have this being crop so crop it like this you need to apply wisdom here increase then crop which you can see you crop it to look exactly like this so after that the next thing that we're going to do is to just erase some part here so we need to use our mask turn on the mask sorry Turn on your mask. So move it to this particular area so that it will not show. So the next thing is to send it to the back. Then you can see the miracle which I performed there. So now after this has been shown, so there's no any cause for alarm. So we need to just move on with other thing. So I want to reapply the color to my own taste so let this go up a bit let's rotate it this way and see how it look a little bit a little bit a little bit yeah is uh somehow okay like this Yes, it's okay like this. So now we have the two being locked. So the next thing is to go to our gallery. 
then we import other resources like shape this shape has to be positioned here then we go back to our gallery we have this particular shape as well which has to be positioned here then we'll make it go to the back so as you can see then after making it go to the back we are giving it green color so that it can be obvious so the next thing we are going to do to make it blend we reduce the opacity a little bit so that it look like blending since the piece of art doesn't have blending so the next thing after that we need to put something at this background to make it look more presentable so we are going back to our download where we have this being imported so on importing it then the next thing we are going to do at that level we have to send it to the back so on sending it to the back we'll go to the opacity then we'll reduce the opacity to the minimal level so that at least it look like transparent so we have this let's change the color to see let's change the color so let's change the color to see and see how it look if we back the color then it look exactly like this and i will tell you why we need to use two color at this particular level we are sending this to the back as well but i'm using it to form a particular background so now i'm 65 we'll go to the area uh layer we have it locked as well so after that after we've locked the two the next thing we're going to do we go with our right up um but before the let go on with our right up so we'll have all our right up like this so we have this don't forget to hit the subscribe so button and the bell icon cut and sew cut and sew cut and sew then the second one we have brighter attire brighter attire brighter attire ready to wear number three we have ready to wear then number four correct that one then we have male underwear male underwear male underwear then the next one we have we have clothing materials etc clothing materials then we we'll put etc so good now you see everything that we've typed so we need to re reduce the size very well then we have to edit it very well let there be space and go to go to the font type and have the font being changed so let's select a better font let's use a roboto medium roboto medium should be able to work here let's see whether it is very good so we space it a little bit exactly like this after spacing it let's say like three then we have the size increased we have the size increased to something like 18 then we have it plumb like this so good after selecting it this way the next thing that we're going to do and we'll put a, a better space in between so we need to go to our shape we need to go to our shape sorry then we crop some shape like this and this one has to take two two so let's take it for instance let's adjust this a bit so let it go to the left a bit so that we can we can be able to find better space so you see the trick i want to use here so now we have to position this here then we copy the same thing 
Oh, before we copy, let's just uh, give it different color. We are going to change it back so that we we'll position and see how it look first. So we are position these two. So when we look at it critically, we can see categorically that this will actually work. So, but we need to consider the bottom as well. So it means we have to reduce. Let's copy the same thing and measure the bottom. So the space uh, at the bottom is not really much. But if we move this up a bit, at least it, uh, it can accommodate and uh, we put the phone number there. So now that we have this, we are going to delete this. Then we back this, go to the color and uh, we'll go to the texture. Under the texture, this is where we are going to select everything that we want. So let's take it for instance, we want this. So we need to select. Then you can see what I did. Then after doing that, we go to the stroke. We have, uh, let's use our color picker to pick the green color. So after having that, then we increase it to like 4. So that it can actually work. Then we copy. On copy it, we position it. Uh, this uh, as well as this place so after positioning that way then we go don't forget we need to go back go and select another pattern of cloth take it for instance we are selecting this so we select another pattern of cloth like this then after that we are going to remake, repeat the same process at uh, this area where we are going back to our texture then we repeat the same process by looking at the class where we want to that we want to select let's take it for instance we select this so this will actually there so good so now the last the next thing which is the last one we are going to position it here we go back to our texture so i'm getting to the texture we are going to select this so which means everything is uh, accurate and plumb now, this is area where we want to apply the wisdom and we need to turn on our grid as you can see. So turn on your grid. So we are going to use our grid as a measurement here. So we turn it here, which you can see. We do the same thing at the upper part. We do the same thing at the upper part, then that one is enough. So now as it is now, we Don't need forget to, to hit the subscribe button one after and the bell icon. The other. So we need to position this one here. On position it here, then uh, we need to shift this a bit too. And then it should go up. So now that we have that, then at this area, we need to move it a bit. At this area, we need to move it a bit, which you can see. Now that we've positioned that, why are we doing that? I will show you now. So the next thing we are going to do, we need to go to our shape. So let's go to the shape. So this junction, uh, we need to position a shape here. It has to exit, going up like this. Which you can see, we need to position a shape there. And uh, another shape at this uh, junction, we we'll position another shape here. Then we give it a color. We look at how it is, we we'll position it well. Then we we'll make it go down again. Then we have to look at it. it, is it really okay? If it is okay, we copy. Then we bring it down here, which you can see, bring it down then go and position it under this place which you can see then we reduce the movement arrow and we have a position so this is actually okay so now that we are able to position under this area we make it closer a bit front make it closer a bit so now we are going to copy again then we have it move so at this uh, juncture we are going to position one at the middle just to make it cool so just be bringing it small by small little by little then after that we increase the movement arrow and have it uh, position here then when you look at it everything is actually plumb 
So the next thing that we're going to do, we need to use one just to divide it. So now we are going to back to copy, which you can see. We are going to copy, then we rotate. So let rotate. Let rotate to 90. Then we do repeat the same thing by moving it gradually. Sorry. We need to do that by moving it gradually. Then we can be able to see how it look. Then we bring it down here. So let it come down. Then we bring this to the center. Now everything is actually cool, but not really okay. We need to adjust. So the one that the length is long, we need to reduce. So after reducing, we are going to reposition again. So we reposition and look at how it is. So when you look at it, this is uh, actually uh, accurate cool. So the next thing is to now uh, uh, is to position this very well. Then we adjust to the top. So like for instance, this logo needs to be adjusted to the top. So let's adjust it a bit so that we'll be able to uh, shift up. So the next thing is to shift this up a bit too. So we shift up. Then we can shift up the whole thing that we have done. You see how I'm going to do it now. So you just mark everything, excluding all this. So just count it. We have one, two, three, four. Then the shape to be one, two, three, four. Now tap on this and tap on this. Just move it at once. You can see everything is going up at once you can see at once so we are able to uh, uh have this being positioned exactly <laughs> like this so after that the next thing that we're going to do is to just uh bring this one that should be the space in between then we are going to do something <laughs> we have a uh, cut and sew brighter uh, attire ready <laughs> to wear then train C we have already uh, 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 omit one so ready to wear after that we have a uh, one sorry after ready to wear ready to wear so we have uh, something here which we are going to mark so we have uh, trendy wears trendy wears which you can see so now everything is uh, is okay so we can see shift uh, the logo we can shift it up shift the logo up a bit then that one can give us the avenue to shift this up a bit now we'll go back to the color and give it a a deep uh, green so let's increase double the color so that it can be green so now everything is actually cool so the next thing that we're going to do at this level don't forget to hit the subscribe button out, and the bell icon bring the contact icon which we have already sorry we are deleting this we are going to bring uh, the contact icon so we bring it and position it at the bottom here which you can see then we have it locked so we change the shape and everything for this where we have uh, the phone number 0703466081 so now we are going to use a ventica we use a ventica font at this level because that is what can actually work here so you use a ventica reduce it we we'll go to the shape you give i mean spacing you space it well then we have a position here. If possible, we can reduce it more. We can reduce it more to make it plump. So you cook it like this. So let's have it positioned properly. Then we click on the color, tap on the color, then you make it black. Just move it to the edge like this. Make it more dark, as you can see. And everything is actually cool. When you look at it this way, you can see categorically that 
this is a very this is presentable so now I just adjust this place then the next thing that i want us to do let me just tag it like this go to the shape have this shape being imported then we are going to increase then you reduce it reduce it like this we'll go back to the shape i mean the color then you pick that color then we can reduce it again have it position at this junction which you can see then you move it in now have it tag if you want so like for instance let's say at deco graphics at at deco at deco graphics at deco graphics then we come back make it in capital letter then we have it reduced very well go back to your uh, uh just let both it and maintain the same color so we have it a uh, position here we have a position here so meaning that uh, we can make it longer but uh, we can make it uh, so let's increase the size a bit so have it a uh, position here let it tick a bit let it tick a bit then we we'll position it here we we'll have it been positioned here we can increase the size which you can see so at the end of the day we change the color to white so that it can showcase since we have a deep color as the background so now we are going to make it uh, okay this is not necessary if you are presenting this to a client you don't need to uh, you don't need to add your tagline not necessary and you can add it if you want it but time some client will tell you that you should remove your tagline since they are the owner so now uh a long uh enough of talk as you can see we are done with everything this is just a simple way on how you can make a version flyer on your android smartphone using your pc lab and you can see how it is very cool and uh, presentable now have it save you see you don't need to if you don't want your design to be blurry quality don't merge unnecessarily as you can see the way i did my own i don't merge unnecessarily then i don't apply irrelevant color then if you want to save make sure your dimension is ultra and your format is png thanks for watching i believe this is helpful